friends today is an exciting video because I'm going to be sharing with you some ornaments that I got from Hallmark on clearance. My friend Kay over at Mama Mouse shared a uh, ornament haul that she purchased right after Christmas and she got her ornaments around four and five dollars and I thought my goodness an all a Hallmark ornament for four or five dollars let me go see what they have left. It had been a few weeks uh, since she had posted that haul but I was able to scoop some up and I'm going to share those with you today so thank you so much Kay for prompting this video. I'm gonna leave hers linked below so you can see everything that she got. We did get a few things that are not the same. So the first item I'm pretty sure that she got to is this ceramic mug and I love this like silicone lid and it says Hallmark keepsake fueling for ornament shopping. Now I was gifted a cute ornament mug for Christmas and this one's just really cute. It can go along with it so I have one for home and one for when I'm out shopping because that one I can use shopping for ornaments online and this one can go out with me um, to keep my coffee warm. I think that I'm gonna have to get um, one of the sleeves or something because I feel like the ceramic will be hot. I don't know if it's gonna be cool to the touch warm inside. I don't know, I haven't tested it out yet. I'm gonna have to pack this away until October and then uh, I'll let y'all know. Another item that I purchased that is not an ornament is this really cute tree topper and skirt and it's for a miniature tree. So Michaela does have a four foot tree, three foot tree in her room, but she also had a tabletop tree when she was much smaller. I found it at Target when she was about five years old. We still have that tree. It's cute, pink, pinkish purple, came with lights already pretty strong on it. It uh, came with like four Disney princess ornaments. And this will look so cute on that. It um, has a cute little castle for the topper and then it has this cute pink quilted um, tree skirt with all of the names of the princesses on it. I thought this topper was so cute. I really thought that it was gonna be bigger than what it is, but it's still so adorable. Um, I'll pull out that skirt for you guys to look at too in just a moment. But look how tiny this thing is. Like it's small like an antenna topper. It's just so cute. Um, I will still put it on that little tree. So we'll have to find some of the little miniature tree ornaments to go on it because we use all of those other princess ornaments on her normal tree. I know, you know, Hobby Lobby can hook us up with that when the time comes. And here is what that little tree skirt looks like. It's trimmed in purple. Like I said, it's very, very small. <laughs> so it's cute though, it was such a great deal. I think I only paid $6 for this and it was pretty expensive, which I wouldn't have paid full price for this. I don't think it would have been worth it, but it was really cute for $6. Okay, let's jump into the ornaments. I only got one Disney ornament, I think. Pretty sure there were not a lot to choose from by the time I was able to pick it out. Um, but I did get the Anna and Kristoff from Frozen 2. I love this. I love how he's got her scooped up off of her feet. He is probably my favorite male Disney character to date. His personality is going to be so hard to beat in my opinion. He is just the total package that you would want in a partner. And I don't know, he's just so precious. And I love how her little foot is popped there. You can see the detail of her shoe. Here is what this looks like up close. I love how they're looking at each other. And then look at the detail on her cape. Isn't that beautiful? So, so pretty. The next one is Snoopy in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. So he is the flying ace um, balloon. And he's pretty tall. <laughs> Look at his little face. He is so cute. I think it would have been really cute if they had done the strings. Um, but I don't know what they would have attached them to. Unless they would have had like the little crisscross handles that the, um, the balloon handlers hold on to. That would have been cute if they were hanging off of his paws. But yeah, he's super adorable. You can see the little goggles on his head. The next one I'm so giddy over. I didn't put the batteries in it mainly because I was too lazy to go get the screwdriver out, but I got Zach from Saved by the Bell. Where are my Saved by the Bell people? I mean, I would still watch this. I didn't like the elementary middle school one. Was it elementary or middle school? Because did they think we were dumb? 
they started in Indiana and then all of a sudden, no, the whole high school is in California. That didn't make sense to me, but whatever. Um, I love the college years, but I primarily love the high school and then the movies where Zach and Kelly get married. So here goes the batteries. I love that they do come with the batteries. That makes life a little bit easier. And then there's the Saved by the Bell logo on his stand. The next one is adorable. When I saw that Kay had this one, I knew I immediately had to get it. And this is the reason I actually went on the website because it's Ralphie's teacher's gift from A Christmas Story. It's when he brings in this gigantic fruit basket. And it made my heart so happy when I saw that because the way he's always just standing there and she's trying to get him to go back to his seat. and He's just sitting there all doe-eyed and crazy. But he's so funny. <laughs> I was surprised that there was so much detailing on the fruit. But that's adorable. His sweater with his little shirt on underneath and his glasses. That is so cute. We did watch the Christmas Story Christmas. That was really, really good. I loved it as much as the original. The one we didn't like was Christmas Story 2. That was terrible. We bought it once um, at Walmart. So we ended up having two DVDs of the first movie because it came with the, um, the part two. It was terrible, absolutely terrible. I would not watch that one again. But this one with Ralphie all with Ralphie all grown up was really good. It was kind of a tearjerker in the beginning um, with the loss of a parent. So I was like, oh no, that just, that really hurt. But it ended up being a very, very good movie. I have three more to share with you. The next one is a Sega Genesis and it does have Sonic the Hedgehog, um, the cartridge in. So that was really funny. And this one has batteries too. So I don't know what it does. But again, we'll find out next Christmas. <laughs> so stick around and hang out with us in October when we put our decorations up. And here is what this looks like. It's got like the little controllers and there you can see Sonic there. That is so funny. I would love to know what it does though. I was trying to figure out where the button is. The little on off switch here is what, um, where you'll hear the noise. So curious to what that will be but I love the detail on this one too brought back so many memories I know I had a Sega Genesis and I asked Damon if he did too and he said yes I didn't have the Sonic game but um, do you remember the days when you had to blow on the cartridges okay I have two that are not licensed um, they're just woo they're just regular uh, Hallmark ornaments and the first one is a gnome for Christmas and it's two cute little elf gnomes and they are um, in the ornament um, tote and I love this it's got wheels on it it's got the um, garland coming out of the back of it it is so adorable Oof. I think that next Christmas or this coming Christmas I'm going to uh, box up all of this stuff and put one of those really tall trees that's not big and round but it's just like a tree straight up and down I think I'm gonna put that there with a bunch of these like extra ornaments and stuff I think that's gonna be the plan we'll see how it goes um, but here's how cute this is it's kind of heavy but you can see they've got the gold garland out hanging out the back of it and there's like an ornament here and then there's an ornament hanging out the back side too isn't that so cute last one I wanted to share with you is stocking stuffers. This is very simple but very cute stocking. Um, I love to bake around Christmas time. I didn't get to this year so much because I got sick right after Thanksgiving and it just lingered and lingered and I just didn't really even care. <laughs> so there were no baked treats in this house. So I think we made a few things and that was about it. Um, nothing that was too difficult. We did, we did all the easy things. All right, here is how cute this one is. I love the cookie cutouts on the stocking. And then you have the candy cane, and I love the whisk, and all of the utensils, rolling pins. Isn't that precious? Oh my goodness, I love it. 
all of the holly and the berries sticking out the back of it too. All the little details. It is so, so cute. And then the gingerbread, <laughs> he looks all smushed in there. But that is it for this haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you took advantage of that sale. And thank you again to Kay for sharing her haul. I love that she shared that with me and I love that there were so many that I could still get. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you spending some time with me today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.